What are the ancient secrets that are hidden in the area of Lefkos? Follow us and discover why this town is much more than just a seaside resort with a beautiful beach. Just before the birth of Christ, the geographer Strabo described Carpathos as a tetrapolis, meaning that there were probably four cities on the island. Historians have discovered that present-day Pegadia and Arcasa were built on the remains of two ancient cities. The abandoned city of Rikus in the north of the island is number three. It is quite possible that the remains of a Byzantine port town found here in Lefkos are the silent witness of the fourth never found Roman city of Carpathos. In the bay, you can find the remains of a basilica and, a little further, the foundations of houses. Remains of houses and tombs have also been found on the Zanissi Peninsula. But the most important ancient attraction in Lefkos is located about three kilometers from the sea and can only be reached via a hiking trail. As we walk along the path, you can see from the many remains of medieval houses that Lefkos was once quite a large town. In the middle of these dilapidated remains of the walls of houses that were sometimes still inhabited in the 19th century, you will find a Roman water storage. This underground rock cut cistern is the best preserved Byzantine remains on Carpathos. Of course, this reservoir is nothing compared to major Roman water works such as aqueducts, but it is still fascinating to see how advanced the 1600-year-old complex has been constructed. Our professional team can take a look inside, but the complex is close to regular visitors due to the risk of collapse. Water was collected from the central chamber, which has a square structure with three rows of pillars holding up almost all of the ceiling stones. Inside, especially near the roof, you can clearly see how professional Roman architecture was at that time. There are a total of seven galleries in which the water was stored adjacent to the central chamber. The corridors were carved out of the limestone subsoil and then provided with a hydraulic plaster layer to ensure that the water was retained well. From the outside, it is difficult to see how large and complex the structure really is on the inside. Fortunately, this is also clearly visible in the archaeological museum in the capital Pegadia, where a detailed model of the Roman cistern can be seen. It beautifully shows how relatively complex construction took place even far away from Rome. Once outside you can see that the roof is still quite intact, but the pile of stones just next to the cistern are the collapsed roof parts of the holes that you encounter here and there. Just before you leave this beautiful monument, we would like to give you the tip to look on the other side of the path. Hidden in the bushes, you will find a well-preserved example of one of the many cliff houses that you can find in the area, which were inhabited until the 19th century. Can you imagine that barely a hundred years ago people lived in these caves? But, for now, enough of time's gone by, time to return to ours, so let's go to the beach to enjoy a well-deserved drink. Thanks for watching and see you again in one of our next videos.